Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Piggy Room here and I thought I would do a cage tour of Miko's cage. Now he's been in it a couple of months and I've got everything in there that I want to get for him basically. So I thought it was a good time to show you it. Uh, as you might be able to tell he's actually on our bathtub. We moved house a few months ago and we just don't have anywhere else to put him. And it's not too much of a hardship as we both normally have showers anyway so we just have to have a shower now, we just haven't got any choice. Anyway, I put him on a piece of chipboard and whether you can see that underneath um, just to protect the bath and make sure the cage doesn't fall off or anything. If you haven't seen this cage before, it's one I got on eBay from Germany. Um, it's made of wood and perspex. A few people have commented, won't he chew his way out? Uh, or what my old hamster is boobs in here, wouldn't she chew her way out? Well, they do chew things, but I don't think there's anything they can chew which would make a hole. There's nothing they can get their teeth around, if you understand what I mean. Um, so anyway, I haven't had any chewing incidents yet. I am keeping a close eye on things. Uh, and if, there, if he does try and chew anything, then obviously I'll have to get him into a different cage. But he's got plenty of chew toys in there and he seems quite happy with that. Right then, uh, that's an overview of the cage. I can't open the Perspex doors. We actually did alter this cage when we got it so that it would open at the front and we also fixed that there's a shelf at the bottom which comes out for you to clean it. Well, we actually fixed that in to make it the base of the cage as it wasn't very stable as it was. Um, but that was fine for Boo, but with Miko in there, he likes to burrow so I've put the substrate a bit deeper so I can't really open the door, so there is a bit of a reflection, I'm afraid. I am due to clean him out again. I think I'm going to put the bedding even deeper because he does seem to like to burrow. Speaking of which, it's, um, oh, boy, boys, I don't know how you say that. It's a hemp bedding anyway, um, and I think it's the best one. I've tried a few, and this is certainly my favourite. So starting at the right-hand end of the cage, that's Miko's house. It's got two compartments at the bottom and then a second one, a third one rather, there over the top with a tube connecting them. He's actually decided to sleep in the tube at the moment, so I don't know whether you can see that hole is completely bunged up with bedding. I think that's because I, I had to catch him to clean the cage out and he was really difficult to catch. He's not very tame. And I think he's gone in there to stop me catching him. I think that's his theory anyway. Um, I got that from Amazon and it, I think it was £10, which I think is a really good price for well, such a big house. I don't know what you call it really, a structure. My husband calls it a fort. <laughs> um, on the top of that, he has a guinea pig chew, which he was chewing when he first went in there, but... He hasn't shown much interest in lately. And then he's got the small size flying saucer. I have put a wheel in there for him as well, two different size wheels, and he just doesn't use them. He was a rescue from Pets at Home, and the only thing he had in his little tiny tank was a flying saucer, and he, he loves that, but he doesn't seem to understand what the wheel's for. I've put treats in there and everything, and nothing works, so at the moment I've just given up. He's happy with the flying saucer. And in the corner he has a potty with, I don't know what you call it, but it's the stuff that comes with a potty, hamster litter I suppose. He doesn't actually use it as a toilet, he stores his food in there and he does like to sit in there. Um, but So I've left it in there, but uh, he tends to use his sand bath I think as a toilet. And then moving over, he's got a small little bowl there. I'll try and tip it up hamsters on the side which is super cute he can actually sit in that he's so small it's unbelievable <laughs> and then next to that he's got a wooden tube with holes cut out of it and that I got from Pets at Home there's a small bit of his bedding left I've put some toilet paper in there so if he does want to take more bedding in he can take that and then if that goes I put more there for him and then in this corner he has his water bottle, which is stuck on there with Velcro. I think it's better to show you from inside, so you don't get the reflection, that's better. It's that in the corner, and next to that 
He has a cookie jar from Morrison's which has got sand in it and he loves to sit in there and groom and I've even seen him bury his food in there but I'm not sure if he's doing that anymore. And in the back corner I've got a second level shelf, I don't know what you want to call it, which I made for him. I have to say it's not my idea, it was on Hamster Central under the heading IKEA project if you want to make one. It's basically an IKEA uh, magazine rack on its side with the bottom taken off and then all around three sides of it, how well you can see it, I've made a little fence out of wooden dowels and wood glue and that goes three sides around it, you can see in there. I'll just make a little second layer, layer for him and also easier to get into his burrowing tower. He's got one wooden bridge going up into that, onto that, and then he's got a hedgehog dog chew, which he is really enjoying. As you can see, it's lost its nose. And then next to that is a burrowing tower. Again, I got this from Amazon, though I think you can get them quite a few places. It's got pink carefresh in it at the moment. I've only recently put that in and he seems to really like it. I don't know whether you can see, but there's definitely a hole going down into it. And I think he tunneled his way all out the bottom because there was a hole down there as well. So he's really enjoying that. I think it's one of the best things I've bought for him. Again, I think that was between seven and nine, seven, ten pounds, somewhere around that. And I've got a second small wooden bridge going up onto that. So he doesn't really have to climb up. It did come with a little ladder, which I didn't think he would be very good on. It was just basically like a ladder with um, a stick outside and then rungs and I thought he's bound to fall off that. So I've put the two wooden bridge things, I've gone completely blank what you call them, um, there so he can go up there and also if he falls off that side it isn't too far for him to fall. Hopefully he won't. And I think that's about it really. I have got, it's got a mesh lid which I've had up so I can show you the cage. I'll put that down now. I also put some pink star lights along the back, which I got from one of the pound shops. Basically because I thought if hamsters aren't supposed to be able to see red light, and I couldn't find any red ones, so I got some pink ones. It's run on batteries, which is fixed onto the side. I put it along the tiles because I didn't want to mark the wall, but it's not really showing up, up that well in the cage, so I think I'm going to move it onto the back there. Um, so that I can see him. He doesn't seem to mind it too much, but if it is bothering him, obviously I won't put it on. And that's it, basically. I'll give you another overview. Um, anyway, I think that's all I've got to say, so thanks for watching and bye for now.